Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your one and only Lady Jackson. So last night was the day one of the Big Brother Niger, the first night of the Big Brother Niger season eight, All Star season 2023. And here are your housemates. These guys were carefully selected for the chaos, for the drama, for the intensity, for the pride, for the noise, and even for the boring aspects of themselves. And, you know, I couldn't agree more. Like, I really respect the fact that this selection was made. There had been a lot of rumors uh, of the housemates who were going to be in the house. And through our predictions, we were correct about 10 or 11 of them. So we were good at around 50 to 55%. Now, of course, in this particular video, I'm going to relate to you so much more the housemates have to introduce themselves to each other we saw how you know um kid wire is finding a new love aside nengi we see how the housemates are just coupling up around and doing so much more now i don't need to waste your time or stress you too much or stress myself either if you're new to my channel, make sure to watch my videos till the end because I'm going to be giving you intentional details of the show that you've been seeking to watch. And then you know what? Let's just get right into it. Now, for a number of you who have been asking questions like how my voice, why my voice sounds like this, I have nasal congestion and I've got the flu cough and catar. But anyways, it seems like a number of housemates are going to be back in the show due to some exclusive videos pictures that were released it seems like um nina from the i think double wahala season then v from the season with uh neil she dated neil and then esther from the pepe dem gang is are going to be on the show now adding to that is the one that is more shocking and that is tacha tacha is allegedly allegedly going to be back on the show but how can she be back with all the rumors that surround her not being the, in the show so far now we know that we have about 20 housemates and a lot of people are feeling that there should be more now a number of tags were released in pictures and we saw the names of these three ladies but you guys can see the screen of what tacha said yesterday after Tokyo makinwa and mike had a conversation on twitter and she was like you know they know what pay money the price went up but then we're seeing these tags of their names where there is nina there is v and then there is tacha up there and even beauty oh my god beauty is included in this like wow wow so we're expecting that this housemates might be brought later on in the show and if they are and like if they end up being brought it's going to be more chaotic than we thought it was going to be honestly and now moving on from that it seems kid wire has found himself a new nangi i mean he has found himself love finally in the biggest house because he's always craved that and it seems that it's going to be doi yes because yesterday we saw how doing easily warmed up to the guys who spoke so eloquently i mean uh the guys who were you know speaking english that were abroad i don't even start to mention him and then after that after the food was prepared noodles we saw how he was feeding her she was like oh no i don't know how it's gonna taste what if i don't like it oh my god that's too much just give me a little i'm like girl shut up we know what you're working on and we like it anyways moving on from that we had where the housemates cross wanted to give a feel of his own uh, experience from the show he was like from his own season so he had to call all the housemates to around the party uh space outside i think that's a barbecue section and he told them that every of them had to introduce themselves and talk about something that people don't know about them so of course we had uh Soma who started and he said that he's a model an actor a producer an entrepreneur he added that when he was 16 his mom caught called him for morning devotion but he was not there because he was actually watching porn and then when his mom came to call him by four she caught him with his you know Odogunaha, his gola on his hand and it's been the most embarrassing experience that people don't know moving on from that is talani baj who says she's a dj a youtuber a dancer and that what people don't know about her is that she's very playful she's not all this toxic and stuff and that at 17 she she was already in her second year in college and she was still actually a virgin and i'm like okay shayi says that he's a hustler he sells and buys everything from granite gold sand 
literally he's a multi-business owner he's a multi-business man he said he gives the energy to anyone just like they bring to him if you don't like him you can go and die and at 19 he made the biggest mistake of his life that was to take a transport from lagos wherever he was to go to any to see his girlfriend and even after visiting her and showing her so much love she broke his heart Next is Alex Unusual, who says she's a filmmaker. She studied in the U New York School of Filmmaking, blah, blah, blah. She's a registered uh, help company. They handle assistance to medical companies and all the nine yards, people who are being abused and stuff. She says she was supposed to launch a line, but due to this particular show, she had to pause it and that she's heading a team that's about to launch an automobile company in Nigeria. She indicated that when she was 14, her mom her parents had a, like a bunch of porn books and movies that were seized from one of her cousins and her bestie came home so when she found it in their room and she was arranging their room she found it and took it to her room showed her bestie and her sister and then their, her mom was coming to their room to see if they were arranging the place and then she flung it on the you know on the wardrobe and her mom was like i saw you fling something go up there and bring everything down there whatever you true and when she went there she spent over 30 minutes she didn't find it intentionally so her mom pulled her down and climbed and found the phone she sees from her her mom's shoes that were from italy that she had repainted their colors to her own desired colors and that the porn books and the videos and her mom had to beat all three of them that till today her mom does not believe that he did not watch or read the book and the video how will she believe you girl and Neil says that he's a global digital influencer, a host, a model, an actor, and he runs his own NGO. He said what people don't know about him is the fact that he was raised in a prison yard. His mom was a retired prison warden and that, you know, most of his friends were, you know, uh, children of prisoners and all that. Like his friends, his colleagues, people he related with were all prisoners or children of prisoners. And we have Cece who shares that she is into multiple things. She's a lawyer, an influencer, a businesswoman. She has launched her, you know, sportswear brand. She is now going to launch her film making or film production company. But what people don't know about her is that in Zanzibar, she was having a nice time in the pool, but she didn't know that her, her underwears, like the bikini she was wearing, had loosened up and that people could see her body through the you know waters it was somebody that called their attention to fix it kid wire says he runs multiple successful businesses in the uk which help gain international celebrity deals around the world he said he runs two foundations one to help kids get clean drinking water and the other to help people with extreme illnesses like tumors and the you know and all the nine yards things that you just expect are extreme he gets to handle it and that things that people don't know about him is the fact that you know he's going to think about it and get back to us and then we have next we Uriel, who says she's an influencer, she's a health enthusiast who has created meal plans and sold over 30,000 meal plans in two years around the world. She says something embarrassing is that uh, she has a lot of weeks and that when she was younger, she almost got married, but it had to do with an issue with her mom. That was what stopped the marriage. And the next is White Money, who says he's a businessman, an influencer, a musician, and that a lot of people keep saying that, you know, he finished the show and he doesn't have his own restaurant. But what they don't know is that he has two actually what is the fact that he has an online restaurant company and the fact that for almost every successful restaurant on the island in lagos he has a share like he has his partner with them in money and support that he's getting returns on the monthly and it's crazy and that he's about to release the next biggest high life song in collaboration with umu obeligo Next is Messi Eke, who says she's a CEO of MMM fashion brand. She's an actor, an influencer, an ambassador of an international brand. And on the side, she has multiple other hustles she's into. And what people don't know about her is that she doesn't really want to talk about it because they're really very embarrassing. And then next was Cross, who says he's an international baby boy. He's an influencer and a show he has a brand with liquor rose called vape and that they uh, employ 
artisans in a particular competition that where they compete for their skills and then they bring for them opportunities so if you want to you know open units of houses they have artisans who can handle it for you he said he owns a 5k membership community where they educate on tech ai trading on crypto and so much more and what people don't know about him is that he's actually not a player but a lover boy and that he has not masturbated in the last two years Next, we have Ile Bae, who says she's a model, a fashion brand owner, and she owns a foundation or she wants to start a foundation. She says she's a young girl who wants to store and she wants to, you know, own an orphanage and that, you know, she fell in love at 19, but then he broke her heart and got married. I'm like, okay, sorry, girl. Next, we have Fraud, who says um, he is a partner right now he owns multiple business he is partnered with the two most happening places on the island he is behind the biggest shows in lagos and a multi-businessman who is married he said he wants to own an orphanage an ngo that focuses on orphans and single mothers and that what people don't know about him is that he was 23 when his loss is virginity uh, he says that he's here for the purpose which was consented by his wife next is doing Doing says like uh, she doesn't do much but she wants to be a host uh, a wife and an influencer she owns two businesses a podcast which in order which aims at bringing people to talk about things that people don't really talk about that is abortion and homosexuality now she says that she's actually she actually has a disability that people don't know she doesn't really know how to spell and that on her phone and laptop is the autocorrect that helps her next is Perry the general he says he's an actor and a show an entrepreneur and an executive producer who has just produced his l first film which cost him loads of money like it almost emptied his bank account and that you know it's going to be released early next year now he said that what people don't know about him is that he was 17 at Chris Okoti's church and they were meant to dress like bible characters but they were having like you know an inter-house competition and he was running now when the previous runner handed him the baton he didn't know that his zipper was open and the cold breeze that was going into his shorts or his trousers uh, interrupted him from continuing the competition he ran out of the uh, running tracks now next is angel who says that her favorite color is pink she's a podcaster uh and her podcast focuses on people who are different mental health and being queer in nigeria she's an influencer and what people don't know about her is the fact that she's scared of the dark next is adekule gold why did I say Adikule Gold? Adikule, he says uh, it's one, his one year anniversary being on the show and that he's an orthodox person. When people are going one direction, he prefers to go the opposite. And that before BB Niger, he was working with two banks. He owns a fashion brand and owns a marketing brand. That he's not a fun guy. He wants to explore that part of him. He loves politics and would end up going into filmmaking as he retires in his 40s. And that he has a book that didn't succeed. He says that what people don't know about him is that even though he's a very serious person he's a very naughty and flirty person next is princess who says she's an a serial entrepreneur an md of beauty supply store she owns her clothing line or store and you know she's an influencer who wants to get into tech and we love to be the first uh, first lady uh, to uh, any of the states in nigeria and what people don't know about her is that in 2016 she was in new york and she went um to go braid her hair and she wanted it curly and she told the hairdresser who rubbed something on her hair and when she went home her hair started falling off and when she came back with her friend to tell the you know saloon owner the saloon owner and her mother and her see sorry the saloon owner and her daughter joined hands to beat them up mercilessly next is Vanita who says she's that she was one time the highest paying paid model in africa and that she's a mother of two she's the longest standing person in entertainment in the house that she's been in entertainment scene for 12 to 15 years and that she had what people don't know about her is that she had failed exams multiple times until she passed and now she's hoping to run uh, a unicorn scholarships that will aim at certain people i think in tech or something i cannot remember last is Ike, who said that what people don't know about him is that his real name is steve he's a blogger and influencer an artist an actor and 
finally he's into cryptocurrency and that he lost his virginity at 17 and that was because he was feeling bad that his friends had lost theirs at 12 i'm like what what did you say anyways i cannot hold back the fact that they had their first morning workout session and i'm like okay <laughs> y'all men outside there i'm sure you're going to be looking at two things the front and the back side on the ladies and for the ladies who are here to look at the guys they're going to be looking at some apps and stuff so when they started doing it moving around slowly and princess was just cat walking she's like wondering like really because she ended up telling some of the housemates that she just woke up this morning and asking herself why did she sacrifice her sleep for this Soon enough, the guys were competing for press up and sit up. But of course, our our sweet loving sweet poporipo daddy was not there. That is white money. Y'all remember that white money was skipping a lot of the morning sessions for exercise during his season, and that's what he did here. While those guys were competing, he was on the other side. We saw where you know Angel and Venita were pairing up. You know, going on the squats. I'll take it up, don't take it up. I'm gonna show you what I got every time you want. Oh, take it up, don't take it up. You're gonna see me beautiful every time I come into your screen. Oh, oh my god, I'm feeling myself right now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't you dare forget to subscribe because I'm gonna bring you everything you want. I'm gonna bring you. See guys, let's not play too much. Like y'all know that I'm going to be bringing you this particular competition back to back. So watch every highlight, everything. I'm going to bring the analysis to your screen just in case you cannot watch it from wherever you are. So please, if you're new, subscribe, click on the bell button beside for notification in every post I make. Share this video and give it a thumbs up and share comments down below.